Hey everybody, my name is Bezad. My name is Risa. And we are here from Naked and Famous Denim. Today we've got a very exciting jean to tell you all about. It's a blast from our past. It's the Greencast Slub Selvage. It's a reissue of one of our most popular MIJ series denims, but in a made in Canada form. We're gonna tell you everything you need to know about them, all the specs, all the details, how they came to be, ASMR scratch test stuff, where you can get a pair, who knows, but you know who's gonna know? You's, You's gonna, gonna know if you stick around all the way to the end of the video. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Risa's gonna get us started off with the specs right after this quick little intro. Okay. So Greencast Slub Selvage is a 15 ounce Japanese selvage denim. It is 100% cotton denim and it, it, it has this amazing greenish color, indigo color. Right. And not only is this a great color denim, it also has amazing texture. But let's get started with what Greencast is. Right, so you might have heard the term, I mean, it's right here in the title. A Greencast denim is a greenish toned denim. And the way they achieve this is by adding a little bit of green, yellowish green dye, either at the start of the dyeing process or at the end of the dyeing process. Sometimes you'll, you'll hear like the terms top dye and bottom dye, mm -hmm. but the result, regardless, the result is a greenish hued denim, which is what you'll see right here. Because if you look at it, it looks kind of blue, it looks kind of green. It doesn't make it all the way green, but it has that greenish kind of tone to it, which I think is really, really nice. And not something you see so often mm -hmm. in the denim world. And we first introduced it in our MIJ series mm -hmm. way back in the day. This was the MIJ3. And I don't remember what year that was, but we're doing MIJ 12 and 13 this year. So anyways, you guys, uh, somebody in the comments will let us know. Um, Fantastic jean. I wore these personally. Uh, I faded them out. We've got some beautiful faded uh, photos of them here, some video that you can see. Great evolution from this denim. Mm -hmm. And you can see that it just goes from that beautiful dark green to, you know, lighter shades of greenish blue to white. Right. Yeah. And I think that was one of the most re requested mm -hmm. uh, MIJ repeats. Right. Um, but this time we brought it back in Made in Canada. So Correct. that means we sanfrized the denim. It's the same exact fabric, Correct. but it's been sanfrized. So there's no shrinkage. You know, the texture is slightly different mm -hmm. also. But uh, speaking of the texture, this one, even though it's sanfrized, mm -hmm. it has a great texture. Yeah. Is it, it's, it's, Slubby, mm -hmm. and it's also neppy. Yeah, so these white, you'll see white neps throughout the front face of the fabric. You'll see the slubbiness too, uh, because you'll see these like fatter yarns that are just, you know, right. uh, like they soaked up so much of that dye. And then when you flip up the inside, you see these like indigo neps throughout and, and the white neps too. So it's just a denim that's full of texture. It's got a great beefy weight to it as well. If you like heavier jeans, you're certainly gonna feel it. And these ones, they're quite rigid as well. Even after wash, they feel beefy. Mm -hmm. So as we get into those colder fall, winter months, this is definitely gonna be a jean that's gonna be a joy to wear. It's gonna keep you uh, nice and cozy yeah. uh, and in those colder temperatures. All right, so um, texture we talked time. about yeah. the texture, so we gotta listen to we it. We gotta do the scratch test. So 15 ounce, 100% cotton indigo green cast. Denim, I don't think that the, the dye really affects the uh, sound <laughs> so much, but uh, let's, let's take a listen here. All right, so uh, let's do it. I can hear the rigidness, the 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 slubbiness. Yeah. The yeah. The, it, the scratchiness picks up on the slub yarns, and then you can really kind of hear the bassiness of like mm -hmm. the thickness of this denim. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a hefty one, that's for sure. So. Yeah. But this, you know, the the color, um, and like just in general, our uh, natural um indigo selvage. Mm -hmm. This that one is not a green cast denim, but it has a very lighter. You know, a little bit more greenish, um, warm tone. Yeah, yeah, to that denim, and it kind of reminds me of that. But like that one's just like a great, um, co like core basic denim, right. and this one's just like a, you know, a step up version of yeah. that. Yeah. If odds are you don't have something like this in your wardrobe, mm -hmm. if you do, then you then you do. Uh, but if if you've never gone into a green cast, this is definitely a good one to get into. But I would I'm gonna I'm gonna preface preface it with this: we only made about 300 of these. Right. So this is a limited batch production. Um, why we only made 300, I don't know. 
It might have just been the availability of <laughs> the denim at the time. Uh, so that said, if you like Greencast, there will probably be more Greencast options. Not probably, there will be more Greencast options in the future. But if you're specifically looking for this one, you definitely want to be, uh, you want to grab these when you see them. Mm -hmm. Now, they're going to be available in our uh, Super Guy, Weird Guy, and Easy Guy fits. Unfortunately, no denim jacket or True Guy this time around. But, you know, maybe uh, in the future we'll have, uh, you know, another Greencast denim in those fit options if that's what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, but... Let's go over the details of these jeans before we talk about, uh, you know, future uh, Greencast editions. So the first thing you're going to notice is that beautiful tobacco leather patch. It's quite beautiful with a lot of different shades of brown throughout. And of course, we've got the matching stitching here. Copper uh, rivets as well. Got yeah. that beautiful slub textured denim. Mm -hmm. And then on the inside, the selvage ID is really neat as well with that same kind of tobacco colored. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of tobacco color theme throughout this. The yeah. green and the brown pairs up perfectly. Yeah, yeah, it's got a very like nice masculine folly vibe to it. Right. But yeah, the, the contrast stitching is also very subtle in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes it kind of uh, very easy to, you know, match with any kind of wardrobe. Yeah, I think. it really you know, despite it being more of a colored denim, well, not quite all the way colored. Mm -hmm. It's not like a, our in like our khaki green duck or something like that. But mm -hmm. it's uh, it's a colored indigo denim. But I still th feel like it it will fit in nicely into your existing indigo wardrobe, especially with your earth tones, brown mm -hmm. boots, brown denim jackets, that kind of thing. It's going to work really well. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to get a pair of these, we've got a blog post linked in the description below. As I said earlier, they are going to be quite limited. So you're going to want to get these when you see them. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that might be it. Did I forget anything? Um, Let's not forget that we have, if you have any questions, you can write that question down in the mm -hmm. comment section or you can join us. Yeah, Fridays uh, li live right here on our YouTube channel, 7 p.m. Eastern. Risa and I, we answer all of your raw denim related questions. We definitely go off topic quite a lot, but uh, it's a great hangout with the raw denim community here. So uh, I guess in closing, let us know your thoughts about the Greencast Slub Selvage are these for you? Is this something that you've been looking forward to? Did you own the MIJ3s? Are you excited to see them back again? And what do you think of that pocket flasher? It's a beautiful pocket flasher we have here uh, as well. One of I like I like it when we do animals. Yeah, this is my favorite from the season. The season. Oh, one of my favorites from yeah. the season this year. All right. So with all that said, and with all of our rambling, we're going to leave it there. We'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe on your way out, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, all right. Everyone. Bye, everyone.